Ladies and gentlemen, today's motion is that schools should only provide balanced meals. UNESCO recognizes that today's debate is incredibly important and it considered two key goals for sustainable development. Improve nutrition, thus ensure healthy life and promote well-being for all at all ages. Also, as we are starting to get back to normal after three years of COVID, we must remember the time to end now. Now, it's time to put ideas into action. We of the affirmative believe strongly in our team now. Balance meals are the only way to go for Hong Kong schools. I will demonstrate why balance school meals are so important for students. Jay will show you why balance meals are must for everyone else in Hong Kong, teachers, parents, and the entire community. But first, some definitions. The Cambridge Dictionary defines that should I say to say or ask what is the best thing or a correct thing to do? The only means. There are no others. To provide means. To give someone something that they need. And balanced meal means. A combination of right types and amount of food. So, ladies and gentlemen, please consider this question. Do you, do you want to be harmless in your exam? And do you want to be healthier now and for the rest of your life? Luckily, the research is incredibly clear and the facts are amazing. Do you know that in America in 2010, scientists found that children who ate their normal, children who ate their healthier food scored an average of 30% higher in their math exam than children who ate their normal food. 30%! Amazing! In 2003 in Canada, information on the quality of a diet of 5,200 students was compared to their test scores. What did they find? Students with a diet consider balance were thirty percent less likely to be better than students who had a diet that was unbalanced. The that number again, thirty percent. Powerful. The conclusion is clear. If you want to cons if you want to students to reach their potential, we must have them to have a balanced diet. And what of health? According to the Center of Health Protection in Hong Kong. Children who are overweight at school are much more likely to be overweight for their whole life. Incredible. Jack will explain how important this for everyone in Hong Kong. These facts are clear and they are marvelous. 30% more in your exam and a healthier life for all of your life. So, join us as we are committed to a more successful and healthier Hong Kong. Balanced meals are the only way to go for Hong Kong schools. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, balanced meals are the only way to go for Hong Kong schools. But first, let's look at some arguments from the negative teams. Their first speaker said that balanced meals choices has no educational value. We must challenge this strongly. What about an extra 30% in math tests? Like Bosco mentioned in study in Mac America, that's an enormous educational value. They also claim that pupils may feel bad if they only have balanced meal at school. Our plan will do the opposite. Students will feel much better if they score higher and feel and healthier. Finally, the affirmative claims students will seek unhealthy food from other sources. Don't they do this anyway? If they have balanced meals at school, they can at least have some good nutrition. It isn't something better than nothing. I would now would like to return to our case. We have powerful evidence to show you why balanced school meals are a must for everyone in Hong Kong. Teachers, parents, and an entire community. Teachers and principals should listen to this. The Journal Economic of Educational Review, published in 2011, found that nutrition was the biggest difference between students who had good behavior and attendance and those who did not, nutrition was more important than whether the child was from a poor or a rich family, for example. That's stunning. This also shows how our plan is also better for parents. They will not only save money on food during school time, they will have students who are happier with their result and have better attendance. Can you imagine how much the quality of life for families could increase with benefits like this? Furthermore, our plan is actually better for the entire community. 
A Canadian study in 2021 found that for every one dollar spent on nutritious school meals, $824 were expected to be saved in costs to the public health system over the course of students' life. I'll say that again for every one dollar. $824 will be saved. Nutrition is a marvelous investment. No wonder UNESCO promotes nutrition. So ladies and gentlemen, please remember this incredible fact. Firstly, 30% higher mass can be yours if you have balanced diet. Who could say no to that? Secondly, you can be 30% less likely to fail. Also amazing. Finally, please remember the benefits to schools and the society. The $824 saved per dollar invested is an absolutely wonderful opportunity. In conclusion, we of the Affirmative ask you to join us and do our part to help UNESCO Sustainable Development Goals. Our plan offers more successful and healthier students, happier parents, and a happier, healthier, more successful society. We have no doubt that balanced meals are the only way to go for Hong Kong schools. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look closely at three points of the negative team. First, the second speaker asked if healthy snacks could be sold without a meal. We have no objections if they are an overall part of a balanced diet. The second speaker also said it is better to focus on encouraging sports activities and nutrition education. But the problem is too serious. We need to do more than just encourage. We need action. Finally, they asked about student athletes as they have higher energy needs than others. Sure, but aren't balanced meals even more important for their performance? If they need more calories, surely that's easy for the school to arrange. We are not saying that one size fits all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's recap. Bosco gave you an astonishing reason. Do you remember 30%? Yes, 30% higher math scores from students' most diets were changed to have good nutrition and 30% less likely to fail. Can anyone find a better way to improve results by 30% and reduce failing by 30% with RN without any extra study? Those two results show why UNESCO values nutrition so highly. So students can benefit greatly and what's of schools. Jack explained the journal Economics of Education Review published in 2011. Nutrition was the biggest difference between the students who had good behavior and attendance and those who did not. Nutrition was more important than how much money a family has. Balanced school meals are, the, are that important. Another powerful piece of proof was delivered with the astonishing number of 824. For every single dollar spent on balanced school meals, 824 was saved in future health care system cost over the life of the student. Wonderful! Finally, let's remember two of UNESCO's sustainable growth goals. First, improve nutrition. Second, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Our plan can help make these come, become reality. Ladies and gentlemen, as we say goodbye to COVID, let's say hello to the beautiful benefits of balanced school meals. The time for action is now. Today, Motion offers more successful and healthier students, happier parents and a happier, healthier and more successful society. Balanced meals are the only way to go for Hong Kong. Thank you.